Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris and I'm Christopher. And in today's episode, we're taking a look at the first official, 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 official trailer. Official. Trailer. Wait, 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 wait. Official. Trailer for The Mummy. Yes. Not the Brendan Fraser Mummy. Or the original classic black and white mummy. No, but the new, new, brand new mummy. Starring Tom Cruise. So. Yes, we said that. This. Tom Cruise. Now, Coons. for those who haven't heard... Uh, Universal is rebooting their Monsters franchise, the classic monsters, you know, Vampire, you know, Dracula, Frankenstein, all that, a Werewolf, mm -hmm. and they're rebooting it and they're calling it the Gods and Monsters uh, Saga. The Gods and Monsters lore saga. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah. This yeah. is the second, technically, the second chapter, with the first one have been uh, Dracula Untold. I forgot what the name was. No, no, correction. They confirmed that Dracula Untold is a separate movie on its own. Oh, they did confirm they that. They finally confirmed that Dracula and Tool is not going to be part of the whole Gods of Month. It's its own story. Correction! This is the first part in their Gods <laughs> and Monsters, their new Gods and Monsters it's a, it's, cinematic it's, universe. It's, the, it's, it, it's a thing that now studios are starting to realize, oh, it's a thing now. Since Marvel's doing it, now DC's doing it, so everyone else wants to get on the whole cinematic universe with the, the Universal Monsters. So, yeah. And then now, I don't know if you heard, it was more of the Hasbro Cinematic Universe where they want to bring in that, G.I. That, Joe's that, I don't, like I don't want to talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about it after the trailer. But, um, no, like, you said, like we said, pretty much, this one has Tom Cruise. And also, this time we're not dealing with like a male mummy, from what I've been hearing. It's more of a female mummy. That's what I was going to talk about. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yes, this, this one's going to be a little bit different. They're going to be dealing with a female mummy. Like, she's going to cause havoc. And, of course, like the Brendan Fraser one... Kind of like the Brenda Fraser one. They're going to have to figure out how to put her back where she belongs. Yeah. Now, the fun fact I was going to tell you earlier was they had to change the design of the mummy for this movie. Yeah, I heard, I did, I heard a little bit about that. They had to change the design for this movie because okay. of the end credits of Days of Future Past where it mm -hmm. showed Apocalypse. Yeah. Apparently, their design was really close to their the new design they had for the mummy. Yeah. So they had to change a lot. Like female, whole new design, all of that works. Yeah, and now the chica who's playing it, some, for some who don't know, um, the chica who's actually playing the mummy is the same chica in um, The Kingsman. The one who had the, 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 the slight, the, 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 the oh. sword legs, sword. pretty much. She's the one who's going to be doing, she's the one playing the mummy herself. So, so let's check this out for the mummy. The mummy. So, here we go. Official trailer. Tom Cruise looking as Tom Cruise. Shh. No. This is when they're getting it. Or taking it away. He's alive for some reason. What the fuck? How's he alive? How's he alive? Welcome to a new world of gods, gods and monsters. Of gods and monsters. And monsters. Oh, fuck. Whoa! Shit! Please meet Princess. Hey! 
she will claim what she has been denied. Are you sure this isn't a Mission Impossible sequel? I know, right? It's not the first time you've run away from a giant smoke cloud. Summer. Shit. I don't know, I want to see more. It feels like I want to see more. That's what it feels like. It, 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 I, I, I want to see I, more. I hate to say this for like the fifth time. Are you sure this isn't a Mission Impossible movie starring like Evil well, Knight like like on a mummy excavation? It feels like he's one of those, uh, ex you know, like, um, how would I say this? Like one of those Matthew McConaughey's where he's like he was like in this he, he was in he was in the military, but now he's an archaeologist type of thing. That's what it feels I, like. That's fine. I have nothing against. You know, it. I have nothing against it whatsoever. That's what it feels like. I have that's a but the only question is, you know, why he's still alive? I, you know, and I have to. Th of course, I think it goes back to the whole mummy thing. That's why he was just sitting there. Why he was like he had it's like he had that funny gut feeling something was going something was off. That's why. So something with that, something where he knows. Yeah. And how the fuck is he alive? Yeah, that too. But um, like I said, that's why I forgot to mention is that Russell Crowe's in this film as well. So that's why I forgot to mention. That's why when you start to hear the voice, he's like, "Wait a minute, I know that voice, you know." But it's Russell Crowe. He's in the film as well. But I like, I like, I like how he says that though. You know, welcome to gods and you know, you know a new age, age of, of gods and, and monsters. monsters. So it feels like if they're gonna be through the cinematic universe, that means it's not like we have heroes or something like that to stop them. It's more of like, um. We have to deal with a group. It's like their own Legion of Doom where they're going to be working together at some point if they're going to do the cinematic universe. Well, I you guess know? we'll see. I know. It, it seems interesting. It looks it looks very interesting enough. Because um, it's like now, this is the first time we've seen like a full-on big feature film, um, mummy film, but set during the modern age. Not like back then, back then. But, you know, like right. how Brendan Fraser has it. You know, they're, they're mummy movies. But... It seems like that, that's what they're trying to do with these ones. They're trying to modernize them now. But it seems interesting enough. I mean, yeah. I want to see a, an actual, more of like, hopefully another trailer to maybe explain a little bit. Right now, it feels like it's just introducing us. Okay, this is what to expect. And hopefully in another one, we we'll finally hear a story or something like that behind it. Because now we know she's a princess. Yeah. yeah. And she has... You're not too fond of it, it feels like. I don't know. It's, it's it not like like confused. A... Nope. I'm not confused. Uh, you know what Killer I mean. mummy gets woken up and wants what's her, so no, AKA what I mean. means global domination. No, what I mean by confused, I'm sorry, I, I should be more specific. You're still uncertain about the film. It looks like a generic action flick. I mean, it's it, if it wasn't if it had if they have Tom Cruise had some I don't know Ryan Reynolds or like Chris Pratt or one of those guys. Something more it practical would, you're trying to say. If it was any other actor, just be a generic action movie. But it has Tom Cruise in it, so it would pique my interest a little. But it looks so generic. It looks generic. Killer, That's what you mean. Killer thing comes to life and starts to blur everything. I mean, the only mystery I have is to... How is he what, alive? But other than I that... I think that's, I mean, what, that's the one thing they're trying to drag people into, is trying to figure out why is he still alive. How is he still alive? That's a that's where the real mystery is. But other than that, it. it looks like another generic action flick. It looks like the last... Okay, we rec we record Transformers the same day today. It looks like like if it w if Transformers was... It didn't show anything except for like a couple shots of, of the Autobots insignia. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that looks cool, but it's... What? Huh? I don't know. Like I said, Just, maybe the next one, maybe we'll hopefully get more like, of a you story. Know, you know when he said, what the hell was that? I, you know... Okay. What were you expecting? Locusts. No, no, no. No, I know locusts. But what's the one thing from the Brendan Fraser ones he always does? Oh, the whole big mouth thing. Yeah. I was expecting the mouth thing. I'm like... But you, um, have to realize, but you have to realize, though, that's where they're, they're trying to uh, ease no, no, their no. way away from it. No, no, I know to. that. But in the back of my mind, considering what this movie is, that's the first thing I thought. I'm like, oh, my God. It's going to be the mouth thing. They're going to swallow the plane. I mean, it was still... Okay, I'll admit, that plane part was really interesting. But I'm, I'm not a product against see us in theaters. I don't... I'm not... I'm not I don't know. I, like I said, we just need another trailer to convince us maybe, more. Maybe. I mean... I mean, it, it seems like a generic... That's why I said... I think, like I said, it, he reminds me of, like... That's why I said. He reminds me of that Matthew McConaughey film, um, Fool's Gold. Yeah. That one film, pretty much, where he was... He's an archaeologist, but, you know, before all that, he was an actual... 
He was in the military, yeah. and it feels like that's what he is. He was in yeah. the special forces. That's how come he's able to do a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he's used to it. Yeah. So other than that, I'm just gonna wait probably till rental, download, whatever. Well, again. Let's just see for another trailer, because sometimes, you know, the beginning trailer really doesn't pique our interest until sometimes another one comes out, maybe explaining a little bit more for us. But for now, I mean, for now, right now for us, it's at, at, not even a rental, it's more of like a Netflix it, or even Hulu it, or something. Something like that. Yeah. But other than that, if you like us talking about The Mummy, hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about this movie and the new Gods and Monsters lore saga... Comment below if you want to share this with the world. Not get us killed by some ancient curse. You can share it with the world. And if you like us <laughs> just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about us talking about the mummy, hit that subscribe button down below. And again, what do you think of it? You know, do you think it's a good idea if they're going to be doing their own cinematic universe, or if they do do that, how they should change it or make it different from what we you know we grew up with with some of these monster films? Come I and mean, think about it. You still have what is it, Frankenstein, Werewolf, you have, um, I'm missing somebody, uh, Dracula, you know, that, you know, some of the, it's like, you know, how many are they going to drag right into it? I mean, how many classics are they going to bring into it? That's the question. Yeah. But, you know, comment down below, let us know what you think. Yeah. Well, for now, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this was a very mummified episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey, if you want to see any of our previous videos related to this video or just pre watch our previous videos, just Click to the side and check it out. Also, you can also check out our other stuff besides this one, including our SRB TV stuff and much, much more. All right. See ya. Later.